Hey guys, Jeanette Barber, Daily Woody, Central Park, New York City. So, last night there was a real crisis, much worse than COVID. I lost my corkscrew. I, I could not. I swear. I how do you look? Well, I lost my bras, so. I, it's not a surprise that I lost the corkscrew. Um, but this is not, well, you know, I'm at this point, I was gonna use my father's baseball bat and just take the top off of it. What, you know, I can't, how do you break in to a bottle of wine? And some of you are going, Jeanette, are you insane? Why did you only have one corkscrew? I had two, but the first one uh, bit the dust early in the, early in the crisis. Uh, I was so desperate for a glass of wine in the beginning. Look what I did to the corkscrew. This shouldn't even be possible. Uh, it's completely bent. So then when I'm trying to get the wine out, it's because you know, you, you, you cork the, you stick it in the cork and then this little thing here hooks on the bottle and you pull it out, but it wouldn't hook and I couldn't figure out. So I'm like pulling, I got it down on the floor and finally I look at the corkscrew and I go, oh, well, I don't know my own strength. So this one doesn't work. So, well that, so a very sad evening, a very sad evening indeed. So then, uh, since I couldn't drink, I thought I would, you know, do the next best thing and overeat. So uh, I had been to the corner. Most of the time, uh, I've been to Whole Foods when I have to, but most of the time I go to the little uh, vegetable mart right on the corner. It's been there, Hans uh, Family Market. It's been there since I moved in. So I've been going to this store for 42 years, owned by the same family, and uh, I feel safer in there. Uh, and so I bought these color flower pretzels. Because, you know, you want a snack and, you know, you're eating too much. Well, at least I know I'm eating too much. I really shouldn't speak for you. Uh, and I thought, oh, ca ca cauliflower pretzels. Well, this is be almost like eating vegetables. And guess what? It is. It's exactly like eating vegetables. These are, and they look like pretzels. They give you so much hope, right? They taste, these are the most disgusting things I've ever had in my life. These taste like, um... Oh, jeez. I shouldn't have done that. Oh. These taste, look, I swear to God, these taste like wind. These taste like six men watching football. They are that, does, they, and if you don't want to go in that direction, um, let me find a, a metaphor. They're, they, these taste like Old Faithful. These taste like Yellowstone Park in the Sulphur Springs which in turn will remind you of a teenage boy doing a Dutch oven. There's no way to escape that these taste uh, like something that came out your ass. It, these, these are the singular, most disgusting things I've ever had in my life. So uh, I'm recommending that you don't buy them. You just know, oh, I'm not gonna leave them here because I don't wanna kill a raccoon. But though, ugh. And I am a person, I can't eat disgusting things. So enough about sushi. I don't eat sushi. People go, oh, it's real. It's raw fish. It's raw fish. If you want me to eat it, just bring a charcoal grill and some Kingsford briquettes. And I still don't want it because I don't really like fish because uh, they're disgusting. And in my opinion, anything where they say, don't eat this more than twice a week because uh, you'll die of mercury poisoning. It's like, don't eat that much arsenic. Want to just taste the strychnine? It's, it's a little sprinkle, something nice. So. Oh, but I swear to, I think I would rather eat uh, fish than cauliflower pretzels because they're disgusting. Um, but if it's gross, I won't eat it. Uh, which, uh, fish, I found it. I found the story for today. Uh, it, when I was in the Philippines and, uh, now this is going to seem rude. I don't mean to be rude. It's not that their food is bad. It means it's just that I don't like it because you go in and you, it is all fish and I get the plate and uh, everything on the plate is looking at me. Every, cause it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's fish heads, honestly. Fish, perfectly anatomical, one was wearing glasses. So I said, well, I'm not eating. I, cause you know what's in the head, I'm not eating that. That's, no, I'm not eating that. And then next to it was an entire uh, pile of something that I think was just simply eyeballs because they were all winking. And uh, I just look at that, I go, you know what? I'm full. I haven't eaten in 72 hours, I'm stuffed. <laughs> cause you know, on the upside, you can't gain weight when your plate is going, I've got my eye on you. So that is, that is not where I go for cuisine. It's, it's just that, uh, that, that simple, uh, so, and fish cheeks. 
I would rather eat butt cheeks. I am not. No, no, no. I just won't eat things that are gross. It's, you know what it is, is that um, everything you eat can, get, can make you fat. I need to like it. If I like it, I'm, you know, I'll take a risk, but I'm not eating some piece of crap that I really hate if I don't have to. And that, you know, and that's a problem, is when you go to a restaurant and to be nice, they give you something free. Oh, this is a problem. There was this restaurant, I think it's still here, uh, in uh, New York City, uh, Le Colonial. And it's Vietnamese with a French influence. And oh, I used to go there all the time. And it was really wonderful. And all the waiters knew me because I used to go there all the time. So one day, uh, I'm there and uh, my favorite waiter brings me a great big bowl of uh, shrimp chips. And he put them on the table and I said, I said, oh, what's this? And he said, shrimp chips. And I said, come again, shrimp chips. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's sweet. That's, that's sweet. Now, what do you do? What do you do? Because it would be rude not to eat them. And it's absolutely out of the question. <laughs> Nothing, there is no weaponry, actually heavy artillery. I'm not eating that crap. So uh, what I did was I, I, uh, I was wearing boots they were uh, the low boots and they were kind of loose at the top. So I, I slipped them in my boots. So I walked out sl uh, sloshing shrimp chips because I didn't hurt anybody's feelings. And I only ruined one pair of socks. So, cause they were a little greasy as it turns out. They, they had the consistency of a Cheeto and the disgustingness of a uh, two day old fish. So, I mean, it had, it had everything. So it's surprising that I, I didn't want it. Um, I've done that a bunch. One time I was in Greece and I was, at this, I was in this little town, uh, Dali, and it's on the, and it's near Cardamele, it's on the peninsula, because I can't go to the, to the islands because I'll vomit. And uh, there was, and the guy came and he gave me free fried sardines as a gift, because I went there every night. So I poured them in my purse except for one, because I want it to look normal. And then uh, I, I taste this and it's like, oh my God, this thing is wonderful. As it turns out, the one fish I really like is sardines. And then I got to get them out of my purse because I want to eat them. So that was good times, good times. In, uh, in Morocco, one of my favorite places in Isuera is Shea Sam and they have sardines farsi and they make them, they're, they're grilled, but with all kinds of, er oh my God. Oh. And today, today, May 3rd, I would have been on a plane leaving Asaura, Asuera, Esoyera, depending on who's saying it. I would have been on a plane back to Paris and the Liebenschaftsgefahrte was gonna meet me in Paris and I was gonna have another whole week in Paris. But instead, I'm in the woods with wind pretzels. So, I mean, it's almost as good, you know. That's it. Uh, I'll see you later, guys. Share it if you like it. Uh, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.